you have to let go of your past life and that's not always the easiest thing to do because some of us had the most epic amazing past lives where we were Pleiadians or Atlanteans or dragons or these extraordinary beings doing extraordinary things or maybe we suffered from immense trauma or we had great love deep passionate love and we want to just relive those experiences over and over so we carry them into this lifetime so that we remember and that we can relive those moments but in a new way but as beautiful as all that is and as our past is we have to redefine and rediscover ourselves in this life as a new being of energy now I have seen myself in many forms in many lifetimes um, originating as a star originating as a stream of consciousness that then took form and lived different lives but here I am in this form now embodied as Luna Ross Starshine as I so choose to be and it is from this point of energy that I become limitless not from my past not even from my future but from this present point of my creative energy body not from my birth from this point of energy this creative makeup of who I am right now and when I accept myself fully when I accept who I am fully in this now moment and I accept that I am that I am presence and I embody that and own that from that point do I become limitless and do I become the true creator of my reality because then I admit full acceptance and awareness and I'm not uh, judging or analyzing or criticizing uh, the state I am just being and allowing just being and allowing and then I let go of my expectations I let go of how I think I should be or the role I'm supposed to play out even though I have this grandiose vision because I know who I've been in my past lives and I know who I can be and I have the potential to be but regardless of all of it I surrender to this divine now moment and I allow my I am presence to be what activates and what thrives and when it's when we access this state of consciousness we become free we become truly free to be the embodied divine creators of our lives <sighs> because actually it's something bigger and beyond us beyond our identity or, or what we identify as it is the will of source that then has permission to work through us and the natural law of attraction the natural law of energy permeates through us and we automatically magnetize the experiences the beings the opportunities the material abundance that is actually in alignment with our soul's unique divine blueprint for experience on this planet in this now as this great I am there is a divine orchestration always at play and when we can truly trust that this is the way by getting out of our own way our own agenda of what we think is supposed to happen that is when we open the space for miracles we open the space for our divinity to truly come through. So I am inviting you and I am challenging you to release your past, to release your identities, to release your stories that define you today. Although we love them and appreciate them for molding us and helping create a foundation for this divine being that we get to be here now we now release and let go of all of it clear it clear the slate create a blank page for the I am to shine through and that I am
am is the unity, the unification of the ego and the higher self, of the earth plane and the heavens. It is the unification of um, the body, right, that happens here in the heart, the lower self and the higher self. It is the twin flame. And the twin flame is within. The twin flame is the I am presence. It is not somebody outside of us. It is our divine self embodied as the I am. So discovering that and allowing that to be your resonance, your vibration, is the ultimate freedom because then you're not attached to any outcomes, to any stories playing out and you can create space for new things and miracles to unfold in your life. And I invite you to open to that and release the stories, even the stories of the astrological uh the, you know, the astrological that, that define you and tell you who you are meant to be because even that is limiting. Even that is a limitation on the being and it doesn't allow for new creative energy to come through because we've already decided things are set in stone or set in the stars in a certain way and it doesn't give it space to fluctuate and shift. So choose the I am and create a new dream for yourself. One that is based on that reality that you are the star and you're already born happy. You are already born fulfilled. You are already born worthy and there's nothing you need to seek outside of yourself because you have it all within yourself. So who do you look like from that perspective? Who do you get to be? And how do you get to choose to show up in the world? <sighs> so thanks for listening. I love you. And um, please, uh, please follow me or like or subscribe so we can keep communicating this way. <laughs>